okay, so first of all, I will use a V-stack formula to combine these items with these items. Then I will turn this into a sorted unique list. Then we'll use this list of items in an index match formula. I'll do equals index and then the array will be these items here and the row number I will get from an X match formula. The lookup values will be these values here and then the lookup array will be these items here and close brackets and close brackets again and enter. And now it has lined up the items in this list with the items in this list. Now, if I want it to get me the results from both columns, this will give me an error because I haven't put anything in for the column number yet. In order to do this, I will use the sequence formula. Then I don't care about the rows. What I want is the columns and I will get that using the columns formula and then select this range again and close brackets and close brackets again. Now the columns formula will count the number of columns in the range, so that gets me the number two. And then the sequence formula will turn this into a sequence, so I get the numbers one and two. And then inside the index formula, that will get me the results from the first and the second column. Now I want to use the same formula again for the second table, so I will copy this and paste it in here. And then I'll just change the cell references. So I'll move them all across and resize them. Then I get the results from the second table as well. Now I don't really need extra copies of the item columns in here. So I will remove these. I will make the sequence start at two. So it will ignore the first column. However, this creates a problem because now the sequence gives me the numbers two and three and I don't have a third column. So what I need to do is take the number of columns and subtract one. And then this will just get me the number two. Although I might not always necessarily have just two columns in a table, which is why I need this formula. Now I will copy this sequence formula so that I can use it in the other table. And I will paste it in here to replace this and I need to change the cell reference again. Now I have the columns set up the way that I want them. I will use a H stack formula to join these together. Then I will wrap all of this in an if NA formula so that I can replace all of the NA errors with a blank cell. Now we want to combine all of these formulas together. So I will copy each of these formulas here and paste them into the HStack formula. And now I want to turn this formula into a lambda formula. And in order to do that, I need a way of extracting the first column from each of the arrays. So I will do that using the take formula. I'll select this array here, then I want all of the rows, and then I will put in the number one in order to get just the first column. Then we'll copy this formula and go back to this formula and now we can turn it into a lambda formula. I want to have just two parameters and they will be array one and array two for the two tables that I want to join together. Then I will make this into a let formula and we will have left one which will be the left hand column of the first table. And we'll get this by pasting in the take formula that I just copied and we'll change the cell reference to array one. Then we'll have left two, 
which will be the left hand column of the second table. And I'll paste in the take formula again, and this time change the cell reference to array two. Then we also need a parameter in here called list, which will be the list of items that I get from the sort unique vstack formula. So I will copy that from here to here as we use this list multiple times. Now A2 to A7 is left one, and D2 to D6 is left two. And then I can replace this formula with list, and then A2 to B7 is array one, and A9 hash is list, A2 to A7 is left one, and A2 to B7 is array one. Then D2 to E6 is array two, a9 hash is list, and then D2 to D6 is left two, and D2 to E6 is array two. Then we need to close brackets twice at the end for the let and the lambda formulas, and in order to test this formula, we need another set of open and closed brackets at the end where I will put the two arrays. So we'll select this table here and this table here and enter. And we get these same results as we did before. Now that we know the lambda formula is working, we can copy all of this, except for the open and closed brackets at the end. And then go to the formulas tab and define name. And I will call this H join. And in the refers to box, I will paste in the lambda formula that I just copied and OK. Now we can do equals H join and then select the two arrays here and here and then enter and we get the same results that we did before. In order to test this formula, I will use it on different tables. So we'll do equals H join again and then select this range here and this range here. And it will combine those two ranges together. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to line up tables in Excel using a lambda formula, and that is everything.